Hi guys, welcome back to another Scout the Defender YouTube video. Now, as we all know, Defenders and Land Rovers as a whole are becoming more desirable and with that comes people that are looking to steal them, to make a profit, to strip them down for parts, sell them and generally make our lives miserable. And as a Defender owner, it can be quite worrying knowing you've got a Defender outside and not knowing exactly how secure it is. Well, in this video, we're gonna go through some top tips of how you can secure your Defender and keep it as safe as possible. So we're going to start with some exterior features or functions to ensure that your Defender is as secure as it can be and stop people even trying to get in before they try and drive it off. The first tip is to ensure that you've got security bolts fitted to all of the fixtures and fittings that could effectively have someone walk along and pull off the car. Uh, most notably, people are coming along now and actually stealing the doors and bonnets off Defenders and you're effectively left with a shell on your driveway. So this is a quick tip to hopefully try to prevent that. Obviously, if people want them, they will get them, they're determined, but at least this will hopefully prevent them or at least slow them down in doing so. When I purchased Scout, the hinges or the, the uh, bolts themselves actually had ball bearings pressed into the bolts. So you can't actually get the bolts out. Now there's lots of people in the market that sell um, security bolts specifically for the Defenders and you can buy a kit from around, I think it's 110, 115 pounds online, which gives you all the bolts needed to secure all of the hinges. With mine, I've got, uh, I guess, more of a uh, unconventional um, method by pushing the ball bearings into the bolts and I actually struggle to get them out when it comes to changing things like the wing mirrors. So um, I probably will eventually look to move towards security bolts which are actually a bit more helpful. Now another way that thieves can get access to your Defender is via the wing top vents. They can get, run a small wire down and actually feed it through to the bonnet catch and lift the bonnet up. A way to prevent this is to get a blanking plate which I'll uh, leave a link to in the description below and also overlay now. That effectively blanks the hole to prevent thieves from running a cable down through into the airbox to lift the bonnet and to get access to any of the other internals. So another great little modification. Now along with some of the other exterior modifications like the security bolts and the wing top vent covers, I also opted to fit tinted windows. Now I think from a visual perspective they improve the look of the car 100% but also from a security perspective they stop people being able to peer into the rear load bed. Now that's particularly important on a station wagon where you have the back large rear windows where again you don't have any kind of form of um, parcel shelf to cover any of your valuables uh, and they just add that extra level of privacy. With that, you can also get a rear window protectors, so you can get kind of a mesh grid that fit over the rear quarter windows, which stop people punching those through and getting access to the rear door and the rest of the vehicle. And you can also get security measures for the rear sliding windows too, which I'm gonna look at. Again, those rear windows are really fragile and can be easily uh, gained access via, so it's a really important thing to ensure that you beef up the security of those. Now, moving on to the interior, there's several options that you can fit to ensure that you've got maximum security. I think as a standard, most people recommend that security is all about layers, so as many layers as you can fit to act not only as a deterrent, but to slow someone down if they're really wanting to run away with your truck. So within Scout, I've got several things to uh, deter and also to prevent someone driving off with the truck as easily as possible. The first of those devices is a pedal lock. I've gone for the Arda case. You can see it just down here. Uh, that's a really good deterrent. As someone gl glances through the window, they can see there's a big lock over the pedals. So this effectively clasps round all three pedals, not just the clutch. I know you can buy um, some clutch claws that do a similar thing, but this one locks around all three pedals. So unless you've got the key or uh, something really strong to prise that box off, you won't be able to use the pedals and drive away with the car. The next feature I have is a removable steering wheel. Again, acting as a deterrent, when a user glances through the window, they'll see that there's no steering wheel within the car. And again, it's gonna be harder or longer to drive away.
that's wrapped in an Alcantara material, so that's really comfortable and I think in general just really neatens up the look of the car. But what that's sat on is the Optimil steering wheel boss. So I can pull the two pins and actually remove the steering wheel, which means that of an evening I can feel much more comfortable about leaving it outside because I fit the Optimil steering wheel or swivel lock over the top. So that sits on the original pins over the top and then locks so no one can come along with an aftermarket steering wheel or attempt to try and steer it with the wheel boss or or anything like that so that's a really great upgrade and i'm really happy to have done that another tip is to ensure you've got locking wheel nuts around the car i know that's a pretty obvious one but i've seen so many people wake up with their rear wheel gone it's obviously really easy for someone to come along and take it off you don't have to have to jack up the car to get to the other wheels so i definitely recommend ensuring you've got a locking wheel nut on the back wheel and obviously around all of the wheels i know that's a simple point and most cars come with locking wheel nuts these days but again just ensure that you've got them uh, and it gives you that extra peace of mind there's a few other more technical things that you can fit to ensure the security of your Defender. The first being a tracker, which I would definitely recommend. Not only does it give you the peace of mind that you'll know where it is if it does get taken, I use it on the regular to either find my car or when I know that the car's outside, I can quickly glance and see where um, the Defender is and ensure that uh, at all times I know that it's nearby. So that's a really handy tip. Um, the one I use, uh, if it gets moved or if any kind of uh, the electricals get tampered with, uh, the company call me, it's a 24 seven line and they'll let me know that it's been tampered with. Quite often when I'm filming these videos, these upgrade videos, if I disconnect the battery, for example, fitting the lights, I'll get a call from the tracker company saying, hey, did you know someone's messing with your Defender? So it really does give you that peace of mind that if it does get tampered with, um, obviously uh, you should hopefully be in the know. Along with that, you can also fit third party uh, immobilizers. It's probably more powerful than the one that comes as standard with the Defender and a bit more secure. So again, another great recommendation. Now, something else that I was recommended when I first bought Scout was to fit a kill switch. Now, a kill switch is a switch that's hidden somewhere within the vehicle, which cuts off power to either the starter motor or the fuel pump. So when I leave the vehicle, I engage that uh, and the car won't start unless that switch is found and turned back on. It's a real neat little device and really simple to install, but ensures that someone can't jump in and just turn the key uh, and drive off immediately. They have to engage that switch to drive power to the fuel pump or to the starter motor. So there we have it guys, they are my top tips for keeping your Defender as secure as possible. Now obviously these measures just aim to prevent your Defender either being stolen or slow thieves down if they're determined to take your Defender. But I hope that they've been helpful and giving you some hints and tips on how you can increase the security. As always, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below because uh, it really helps the channel out and also subscribe for more videos to come. And I'll see you in the next video.